Egypt on the diplomatic offensive. Foreign Minister Samer Shukri with the UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon, hours after his boss, President Sisi, hinted at the idea of a UN backed military intervention led by his country. But after a meeting with ambassadors, including the US's representative Samantha Power, in an interview with Al Jazeera, Mr. Shukri clarified his proposals, suggesting initially they were limited to expanded support for the Tobruk government and a strengthened arms embargo. Is the possibility of boots on the ground, international boots on the ground, is that something that should be under consideration? I think all measures should be under consideration. It is up to the international community to define what is the best course of action to uh, deal with this threat. Uh, I will not uh, prejudge or uh, jump to any conclusions. Uh, it is up to us uh, to forge a uh, collective uh, understanding and, and commitment uh, that should not exclude any form of support to the uh, legitimate government in Tobruk. It's thought the UN Security Council will meet to hear a presentation by Foreign Minister Shukri on Wednesday. Other ambassadors, including those also fighting ISIL, say the Egyptian proposal is worth examining, but international law must be followed. It isn't an issue today of uh, Egypt alone. It's really more than Egypt. It's more than it, it requires a coalition similar to the coalition of Iraq. This requires process. This requires legal process that the Security Council has to deal with. For now, Egypt is going down the UN route, but international law is something that President Sisi has ignored in the past. He's ordered bombings in Libya on a number of occasions, including in recent days with no UN authorization at all. James Bayes, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.